Hello, singing friends. Welcome back to my channel. It's Mickey here, your friendly neighborhood singing coach. Today I'm going to be doing a complete album review of Ofra Haza's album Ha Adama, or Adama, <laughs> which means the earth. And I was going to go through the entire record, listen to it through with you guys, but the album is 35 minutes long, so that plus the analysis would have been a crazy long video. So I decided to select a few representative tracks to look at together, just to give you the flavor of the overall album as a whole. And I will put the link to the complete album on Spotify in the description box below. So if you wanna go ahead and check that out on your own time and really enjoy and take your time getting into the album as a whole, I highly encourage you to do that. So the other full album that I reviewed on my channel was Broken Days, and that one was very modern sounding considering that it was made decades ago. It really incorporated a lot of genre blending and different more modern production sounds, especially like the funky bass lines and things like that. And so that felt very contemporary despite the fact that it was dated. This album, I will say, was a little bit dated sounding to me. It did not sound modern. I don't think the production held up in that way. But despite that, I really enjoyed it. I think that the more organic instrumentation and production really fits the theme of Ha Adama because it is very like earthy and terrestrial and organic. And one thing that I really loved about this album as a whole is the gentleness of the production really suits Ofra's beautiful, lovely, gentle voice. There were a lot of beautiful, almost lullabies. I would play this to like a baby, you know? I think it's so soothing and her voice is just so, so, so nice and calming. And the other thing that I loved about this album was the lyrical content. I think all of the lyrics to all of the songs were very, very poetic and could stand alone as literature by themselves, even without being set to music. And one of the things that I've talked about multiple times on my channel is I am very appreciative of lyrics. They're very important to me. When I hear a song, if it doesn't have good lyrics, I can't get into it, no matter how good the music is, unless of course it's an instrumental. And I know if you ask a lot of musicians, they'll say the music is more important than the lyrics. The opposite is true for me. I don't know what it is. I just love words and the lyrics are very, very important to me. So reading through these very poetic lyrics and very evocative, beautiful imagery and the fact that this is kind of a concept album and a lot of the songs do have to deal with the earth, like Mother Earth and all of these different kind of terrestrial nature themes. I like that there was that flow and that connection and I love that they can stand alone as poetry. So the songs that I've selected as representative of this album are Adama, which of course is the title of the album, it means the earth. Mishahu Holech Tamid Iti, Someone Always Walks With Me. And Tsipori, My Bird. So we're going to start with Ha Adama. So in this first track, Adama, the lyrics are, Earth, I am attentive to your voice. Earth, always and wherever I go. Earth, the path I travel on is your path, Mother Earth. Earth, my feet walk barefoot. Earth, your face is warm, enveloping. Earth, your brown eyes look at me, Mother Earth. Behold, I came from you, from your bosom, Earth. And you are made to calm, Earth, all my pains, my nights, my days. The world and all that is in it give thanks to you, Earth. And also we, the trees of the field, Earth, are from you and return to you, Mother of all life, strengthen me. Earth, she gives her fruit to everyone. Earth, good and innocent forever. Earth, please teach your children mankind, Mother Earth. So I very much like this theme. I think we do all need to be better stewards of the earth and taking care of Mother Nature is very, very important for our future. Something that I hope we will be on a better path to do in the next four years in the US. So let's jump right in and listen to Adama.
representation of the album as a whole in a number of ways. It has that really calm kind of vibe. It could almost be a lullaby. The lyrics are beautiful and pertaining to this kind of earthly terrestrial topic. And she sings it beautifully. I think she does a gorgeous performance. Couldn't ask for anything more from her singing. But the thing that holds it back for me is the production. I think the production sounds very dated and it's the style of the time. This was made in the 80s and I don't know what kind of budget they were working with, but I would have so much preferred to hear organic instruments than all the synthesizer stuff. So even the, the guitar solo in the beginning is played on a keyboard and there's all these like weird synthesizer sounds throughout. And I just wanted to strip that away. I just, I don't want anything on her voice. You know what I mean? It's like, why is that stuff in there? Her voice is so perfect just by itself. She could sing with nothing else. We've seen her sing a cappella, and it's so beautiful and gripping and haunting and unbelievable and magic. And when all this other stuff is in there, those background vocals, the weird like little keyboard da, 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 in the background, it's just distracting. And it's almost like I want to like scrub the dirt off of the window. I want to just be able to see her beautiful voice. So that got in the way of my enjoyment. But despite all of that, I still think it's a beautiful song and her performance of it is incredible. So it's not to say anything bad about her, it's just the, the production sounds a little bit dated and it's from the 80s so it makes sense that it would sound like that. One part of the song that I really love her vocal on is the chorus. Um, when she goes up that da 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 da
I don't know exactly what the melody is, but when she goes up high, you really hear the power in her voice. And there's a lot of dynamics actually in the performance. And she's robbed of that a little bit by all of the production. If you just heard her, you would really be able to appreciate her interpretation and the dynamic range that she's bringing to the song from very gentle to very powerful on those high notes, but it's kind of obscured by a lot of the other stuff going on. Okay, so let's go on to the next one, Misha Hu, Holech Tamid Iti, Someone Always Walks With Me. And the lyrics to this one are, Hot days, drought days, my face was dry like a crack in the soil. My field withered, nothing left to harvest. I asked, I whispered, what for? Winter hit me again, cold as a sword. The glaze in my eyes, so cold and rainy. Sadness stares from the cracks in the walls. I asked, I whispered, until when? But when evening came with the evening wind, a leaf falls on the roof of my home. I know I hear someone always walks with me. I remember my screaming loneliness. I will cover my face with my two hands. I have shared my sorrow with a piece of bread. I asked, is it all worth it? Thus, I will carry my prayer on and on. My lips whisper out of my poverty. I know someone up there will see the lamplight in my window. And then it repeats the chorus. So absolutely beautiful, very powerful lyrics talking about how our faith kind of carries us through the trials and tribulations that everyone faces in life. So I think that's beautiful poetry, <laughs> even by itself. So let's take a listen to this song. I 
So absolutely gorgeous song. I think the words are so, so nice. It really does sound like it's a prayer or something. And I love how it resolves to that major chord at the end. It really gives you hope, you know, even though you're in poverty, you're gonna make it because God is on your side. So I love that. I think that's very smart, the chord progression, melodically what they did there. And I think it's a gorgeous song. I would love to hear this reproduced, you know, if only she was alive today and we could just reproduce a song with just organic instruments. There's no reason that we should be hearing rather than a piano, a keyboard, you know, rather than real strings, synthesizer strings, because it really does add a level of kind of like cheesiness to it. And it's just the, the fact of when it was recorded, because now if you hear synthesizer strings, they are sampled from real strings and they sound amazing. And a lot of times you can't even tell the difference if the person that's playing them is really knowledgeable about how strings are supposed to be played. But here it really kind of takes away from the performance. And I don't know if it's just that there's so many elements in there with the background vocals and everything else, or if it's the compression on the track, but the dynamics, you can tell that she's singing it with so, emo so much emotion and so much dynamics. And a little bit of that is flattened just by the overall production. But I think it's incredible performance. I love the melody, especially on the chorus. I think it's very, very strong. That da 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 I don't know exactly what the ascending line is, but that's really pretty, the ascending line in that chorus. I think it's a really, really strong melody, great songwriting, great lyrics, beautiful singing. I just wish that it was stripped down and just her voice and a modern production. If even it was just like one guitar and her voice, I think it would be incredible. It's a great song. I would love to hear like a stripped down live version of it. Okay, so the final song that we are going to be listening to today is My Bird, Sipori. And I'm gonna move my camera over for a second so I can read the lyrics. <laughs> Little earthquake there. The words are, bird, my wounded bird, in the spirit of the night you float, broken wing shaking. No one would hear, but I hear the effort by the window in the silence, in the darkness. All the years of your love, long and all your dreams and the life that you have been living, bird, my wounded bird, your blood fluid on the bushes at night at darkness. Wow. So that kind of reminds me of, I know why the caged bird sings, you know, it's very, very poetic, very, very beautiful, very sad. So let's jump right in and hear Tsipori. <laughs> Sipori, Sipori Habtua, Berua Halaila at Merahefet, Shvura. Sipuri, sipuri, ha 
really good one to end on actually because that is an example of a song that is much more sparse in the production and it just gives her voice space to breathe. I thought that was really really lovely and it's so funny because she's speaking Hebrew and Hebrew is a pretty guttural language. It has a lot of harsh sounds in it and yet she has such a gentle way of pronouncing the words that they're just so smooth and there's nothing that kind of sticks out in her flow, in her diction. You know there's something that's really really lovely and smooth and gentle about her delivery, which I think is really, really beautiful about her voice, you know? It's so smooth and soothing and lovely. There are no sharp edges. Even the way that she pronounces just sipori, right? With the rolled R, it's like so, so, so pretty. So I thought that was a lovely song and I wish the rest of the album was more like that, you know, just more sparse and stripped down because when you're able to hear her, it's gorgeous. Her voice is so undeniably beautiful and she doesn't need to be belting or loud to impress you because it's it's just so, her interpretation is so rich and there's so much in there that even when she's singing in this gentle way, it's almost more compelling. It almost makes you wanna listen more closely when she's singing in this soft and intimate way. And that could have been a lullaby. It's it's just so beautiful. So I like that we're ending on the song. I hope that that gave you a flavor of the album. And I'm going to put the link to the entire thing on Spotify so that you can listen to the uninterrupted album on your own and really do a deep dive on this beautiful body of work of Ofer Haza. Thank you so much for Loris Hassani recommending that I look at this. I enjoyed it very much. I hope that you enjoyed my reaction. And I will see you guys here next time. If this is a Monday, I'll see you on Wednesday. If it's a Wednesday, I'll see you on Monday. Until then, take care of yourselves. And of course, happy singing. <laughs>